silly it is for us to allow the politicians to believe that they have the right to call it carbon trading, that they have the rights to call a REDS program, that they have a right to say how our one true mother nourishes and cares for her friends, her children that walk on two legs, for our brothers and sisters that run on four, for my family that flies in the air, for the creepy crawlers, for those wakes up that burrow under the earth, for the sacred water that sustains all life, my sons back here, as well as my other sons, my granddaughters, my grandsons, my nieces and my nephews, spent months at Standing Rock because the Ponca lived along the Ishute, the Missouri River, and she was sacred to us. And when these pipelines continue to wind their ugly ways through your lives and mine without any conscience, then we do stand up as water protectors. Then we do stand up as sky protectors. And we and you have the sacred honor and duty to continue to understand that if we live in a manner as our ancestors did, that prayed for us to be able to be here, to have the sacred honor to eat, to drink, and we're so blessed we can turn on the faucet and that water's there. But that water needs our prayers now because the water is being defiled. Because the sacred oil and gas that are part of the natural system of life has been enslaved, and that needs our prayers as well. Because those workers who are putting food on a table for their family believe that they have to have a job, and these corporations choose to enslave them as well instead of making a just transition into renewable energy. It's a crime. It's not a crime against humanity because we can no longer separate ourselves from nature. Within my tribe, we passed a statute recently, and we're the first nation, Red Nation, to do so. That's called the Rights of Nature Statute. Because we recognize that we are not separate from. And within this statute, we have decided that we will take those corporations to court that continue to defile our mother. And when we take them to court, we're taking the heads of the corporation, not the workers. We're not taking them to federal court. We're not taking them to state court. We're taking them to our court, the Ponca court. Eu venho de longe para poder estar aqui em São Francisco no estado de Califórnia. Eu venho da região amazônica do Brasil, do estado do Acre. Eu venho de um povo que eu tenho muito orgulho, que é o povo Runicuí. O meu nome é Ninauá. Ninauá significa o chefe da floresta. Eu sou liderança, representante geral do meu povo, Presidente da Federação Unicuim do Estado do Acre. I've come a long way to be here in San Francisco, California, all the way from the Brazilian Amazon, from the state of Acre. I am proud to come from the Unicuim people. My name is Ninawa. Ninawa means chief of the rainforest. And I am. I am the great chief of the Hunikui people, as well as the president of the Hunikui Federation. Do Red, estão enganando as pessoas, dizendo que o projeto de Red vai resolver o problema das mudanças climáticas, do efeito estufa no nosso planeta. Não é verdade. 
So we all have a commitment here, and we have a commitment there, and we have a commitment everywhere. And we better be really clear about what our relationship is with Mother Earth if we are going to fulfill that commitment. And that commitment isn't really for us at all. It's for our children and our grandchildren and our great, 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 great grandchildren. In my territory, the Amazon, indigenous peoples historically have lived happily, but now there is great storms and tensions and death threats rain upon me and other leaders. Our, our people are getting bought off by the government. People's heads are getting twisted. We've seen that the timber companies came along and they said, oh yeah, we're going to cut down the forest and that's going to bring development and wealth. Well, it brought sickness and corruption and co-optation and divided families. And worst of all, it brought the evil of greed. Money is evil. It is the worst evil there is for humanity. When the great creator created the universe, the creator created the universe for all of us, gifted us water for all, land for all. But governments and multinational corporations and dare I say, governors, are just interested in profit for themselves. And the only way to turn a profit is to destroy nature. Today we are told that there's climate change. It's not climate change. It's not a change of the climate. The climate isn't changing of its own accord. Nature doesn't destroy herself. The change is caused not by the climate, it's caused by us. It's caused by war and greed and evil. We're in this pickle because people are not thinking with their hearts. Just thinking about money. Now the rivers of the Amazon are being dammed. And in my home, in the state of Acre, Brazil, they are trying to impose what they call green capitalism. Specifically, the state of California is imposing a project to generate carbon credits or permits to pollute 